recording this. Um, it was very interesting. Yeah. Let's see. I think um, somewhere on here I can allow everybody to unmute themselves. Well, I was able uh, to. I think we already can. Okay, yeah, everybody can. All, all right, we're all good on that. Okay. All yeah. right. So, um, yeah, quite interesting uh, speaker. Um, so. I haven't done my own cuttings and that for a few years. I'm kind of interested now to go back into it. Yeah. Well, now that, you know, the LED lights, they use so much less yeah. power. It does, you know, it's so much easier i think the the money that you save on using the led lights you're gonna <laughs> use that up in the grow mat yeah, <laughs> 100, that's, that's 175 thing. watts in a grow mat i went whoa look yeah. at what your savings from the led light <laughs> but huh. you know we're, we're all stuck well, at home and during COVID, so it gives us something well to do. and i have a small i have a small area so it isn't going to be that expensive so right you know, he had quite a bit that he does. Yeah. yeah. This plants look so healthy and everything. Every time I do it, they're they're spindly. I got fungus gnats galore. So <laughs> I know I've done everything wrong. Well, unfortunately, I I'm in that school of what survives survives. If it doesn't, just go buy more. <laughs> it does. That's yeah. That's, that's the way I look at it. If it if it survives the winter, if it doesn't. We got a spring sale we can go buy some more at. Oh, speaking of which, here I have a spring sale. Here we go. Can everyone oh, see that yeah. photo? Yeah. So our uh, carnivorous plants okay. arrived dormant, and so they're growing out at the door. And uh, they're all about to bloom. Yeah, it looks oh. like it. So cool. I thought yeah. that was well, nice. That'd be awesome. That's cool. So yeah. Jan, if we plant those, we don't have to worry about flies, right? <clears throat> Correct. They will feed themselves with you know, whatever flies you have. So just put a couple of carnivorous plants down with your uh, seedlings. Yeah. All right. Nice, I know. Oh, nice the article I always had was the, the moisture. About the sale. Okay. Somebody was talking over oh. Jerry. So who was talking at the same time Jerry was? Norma? Was that you? Yep. All right. Yep. What'd you say, Norma? We didn't hear you. Okay. In, in the uh, Minneapolis Trib, there's a nice article about the, uh, the spring sale, our spring sale, and about how the plants are going. People are really crazy for buying plants this year because they've just been shut up for so long. So it sounded like if people are reading that, we should have a very good sale. Okay, and they mentioned us? Oh, it's, it's like a four by four section that just talks about our sale. Wow. wow. Uh, which, uh, what date was that on the Star Tribune? Today. Today's. Oh, okay. I'll Today. get the page. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to go buy that Minneapolis Star and Sickle then. That's what I call it. Sorry, folks. That's my political statement for the day. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's nice to know. Spring sale. So, Jan, um, we've been Jim is here. Yep, Jim's here. He's muted. So um, I don't know if he can unmute himself. There he is unmuted. So we're still looking for volunteers, folks. We need to get the word out. Um, I'm starting to get extremely stressed by looking at that volunteer sheet that is only <laughs> half full. Steve, I can give you some statistics from this morning if you wish. Okay. I didn't look at it today. Okay. I added them up this morning. Uh, the pre-sale functions were at 82%. So we're really good on anything prior to the sale dates. Uh, from the sale dates, all of the sale dates and the teardown were at 44%. We right now have 59 signups out of 135 that we'd like to have. So the selling people, and the teardown people, that's where we need the help. Okay. So, and Jan, you had sent me an email saying that you were talking to the master gardeners of Hennepin County in Ramsey County. Has there been any further word on uh, that? Yes. 
uh, for all master gardeners in the state of Minnesota, we're still under what's called phase one protocols, meaning no in-person volunteering is possible. But uh, what they've done <clears throat> is do it by exception. So you have to submit like a project proposal to the state that says, here's what I'd like to do for volunteer hours. And um, you know, here's my protocols and blah, 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 blah. So there's a whole bunch of things that you have to meet. And uh, in talking with our Hennepin County coordinator, we do meet all those requirements. So I have submitted a project proposal to the state of Minnesota to allow master gardeners to help volunteer during our sale hours. If that gets approved, um, then they not only will we be able to open up our volunteer slots to them, but they can claim hours, which, uh, which is really important to them because up until this whole you know, last year plus, the only way you can get hours is like doing Zoom meetings and stuff like that. And people are really sick of doing that. So I'm very hopeful that in the next week or two, we might be able to open up our volunteer slots to some master gardeners. But um, okay. I haven't heard back from Ramsey County yet uh, as to if they want to join in on that. But I think I'll wait to see if we get our thing approved and then see. And um, the other side benefit of letting them know that they can volunteer is letting them know we have a plant sale so if they don't want to volunteer they can sign up to buy plants there you go hey jan yes hey, jan. Uh, i'm a, a i'm about two to two and a half weeks away from sending out my volunteer information and so that would be the last time that i would be communicating of course, our sign-up sheets would still be open right up to the day of our first work days, you know. Right. So, so Jim, we we uh, we can talk about that uh, if we get more sign-ups afterwards. I can't I can't really control how long it takes right. the state yeah. to respond. It's kind of like getting the state fairgrounds to respond <laughs> to us that saying we wanted to have a plant sale. Yeah. No, I just wanted to let you know what my timeline was. <laughs> okay. We'll figure it out. Um, well, Norm another email's going out tomorrow, so. Okay. Norma, what section was that in that they had front to write page, up? It's at the front page of the home and garden section at the bottom. And okay. then the uh, H3 in that section, it's the whole top half. It's about seeds and shrubs going fast and about sales. Seeds and shrubs, that, that would be the friend's part of it that's not us so okay no but we're in okay. there all right we're, awesome we're in there okay so, um so our pre-registration has been a little bit slow too though so I, i'm not sure everybody's finding our website it's it's very easy to navigate thank you on the website uh, marla it's Everything's up there. All the links work. I've done it from a phone, an iPad, a regular computer. Very easy to get to everything. Um, as of yes, I think I looked yesterday. We had ninety-two people sign up to buy plants, which is a little bit low, I think. Still. So. Okay. Yeah, I think as as the the word gets out that there is gonna are gonna be plant sales. I think hopefully they'll start looking. That reminds me, I need to send Dick our thing so he can get that up on the cross pollination so all the other garden clubs will see that we're having a plant sale. And I have been, I messed that up. I forgot to send that to Dick. So I will get that sent out to Dick later today. Look forward to later today, Dick. Um, the uh, state fair, speaking of the state fair, um, I'm still waiting to. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Marla's showing it to us. Yep, okay. It is. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully people that see that will respond. So um, hopefully it says in there to go to our website to pre-register. I'll let Marla kind of glance it over. <laughs> yeah. You're muted, Marla. <laughs> pre-registration is required. Okay. They didn't give our website. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, maybe you know. It, I'm sure the the majority of the or article is over on the Friends website. So if people go to their website, they'll see that if they want to 
buy plants from us, they're going to have to register with us. So it's on the friend's website that we. Uh, they don't have their website on there. Oh. It says on here they have to register for both right. uh, friends and our sale. Okay. Well, it's, maybe they'll go looking at our website to see how they can register. And then the reason I missed it is because <laughs> the home section gets top billing on the front page. Okay. It's at the bottom yep. of that page. Um. I did send out our thing to the state fair two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. They still have yet to publish it on their event calendar. Uh, it is also going to be published. It is published in the Northern Gardener event calendar. If you go to the Northern Gardener page of their event calendar, where we are listed there um, for our uh, plant and fish sale. Um, I was out at the state fair site yesterday with the state fair committee. Uh, we're looking at adding a few new things to the, our garden out there. Um, it is a disaster. <laughs> I'm sorry. That pond, oh, it is not good looking. So we are going to have some major cleanup out there. Um, I did talk to our contact, um, Jennifer Cunningham. They will be turning on the electricity. They will be turning on. And as soon as they do that, she is gonna contact me. So um, the fencing is not gonna get replaced. They are going to fix <laughs> what's broken out there. <laughs> but um, yeah. Apparently they must have a lot of cedar rails and a lot of cedar posts sitting in a warehouse in the back of the state fairgrounds because yeah. they, there were, we counted 11 posts that need replacing. And I would say 75 to 80% of the rails need replacing because half of them are being held together with zip ties. So that ought to be interesting to see when that happens, but yeah. um, they will be replacing that this spring sometime and they will be turning it on. So we will be having a major cleanup out at the uh, state fair. The pond is in serious need of cleaning. So I don't know if we're going to have to get in there with waiters to get all the four and a half feet of leaves out of there before we can even drain it because otherwise they're going to just clog it and so with that anyways okay state while you're cleanup. talking steve i uh, ran in um, went back to look at pre-registration sales and that star tribune thing must have driven a few because we got another dozen just today awesome. yay registration so we're up to 115 that's awesome that is awesome so we're getting people pre-registered. The word's getting out there. There will be a plant in fish sale along with the friend school. Um, the volunteers are coming in slowly. Hopefully the master gardeners will allow the master gardeners to go ahead. In my conversation with the uh, Jennifer Cunningham, the Minnesota Horticultural Society um, Adopt, has adopted a garden. It's on the other corner from where we are on Underwood and Jets in there, right across the street from the haunted house. Mm -hmm. They have a small water feature in there. They want to rip it out and take it out. The state fair really does not want them to do that. They love having that water feature in there so she talked to me and wanted to know if we would rent out our services to the horticulture society to maybe take care of just the water feature itself um i don't see us doing that i told her to contact them and 
find out who we need to talk to. Maybe we partner with them. They purchase everything and then we would find a few volunteers to help them maintain the water feature, whether it be planting plants in it, weeding it, whatever, controlling the algae, but they would be responsible for purchasing whatever it needs to take care of that water site. So, um, yeah, as I recall, the feature is mostly a pondless. That's, thing. you know, the, the last time I walked by it, and it's been three or four years since I walked by there, that's what I remember too. But um, I told them that we'd be happy to partner with them and help them um, with the water part of it. But, you know, we need to. I need to bring that to the board to find out if that's something we really want to do. Um, there's some more conversations that have to happen before anything, but. Is that the one that has a little waterfall? Yeah. Well, there's, there's two of them. There's one. Um, so there's one by the Minnesota landscape association. That's the one that would be just around the corner, 90 degrees from us. Uh, they're the ones that cause all of our water problems. Correct. And then if you keep going around the corner uh, to the next corner, that's the Horticulture Society pond. And they have an arbor there too. I think they yeah. have an arbor leaning up to it and then kind of like a pondless waterfall. That's that's a little bit, uh, their pond is bigger than the Landscape Association. Yeah. And it's literally like right across the street from the haunted house. Right. Yeah. So, and there's a, they have a lot, uh, a lot of seating area, uh, big rocks people can sit on. It's a, it's more of a sitting type of garden where it's green space is what it is. But I yeah I, I think they have. I think there's is pondless, but I I can't say for sure. When I went on Google Maps and looked at it, it looked like there was a small open area of water there, but I, it was hard to tell. Google Maps just didn't go in close enough. But yeah, that that one that's just right at the, around the corner, they're the ones that caused all of our water problems. Basically, their water would overflow into the streets so the state fair people would come up and shut the water off, which would shut off the water to our pond. So now that has been fixed. Oh, there's a website. Jan shared a website with everybody. And that yeah, so that's, that's the link to the article for the Star Tribune. And we are listed oh, okay. there, and our website is on there. Oh, okay. So can if everybody you, looks at their chat window, you'll see the website so you can get so at you it. Can, you can save your chat. Oh, you can? can? Yes, there's a way to save your chat before you leave. I think it's like file, save, chat, or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to click on it and it'll open up my window and it'll just be there so that when I forget to save it when I close it. Okay. Um, hey. Memberships are doing good. Our volunteers are slow, but I'm sure everybody will pick up. Remember, it's a Chicago election. You get well, to sign up. Well, let me also remind people that you don't have, to, you know, since we're having trouble getting people to sign up, you don't have to be a member to volunteer. So if you have some friends who like shopping, invite them to come for a shift with you and uh, introduce them. You know, it, it's a nice way to kind of hang outside and talk to people who love plants and, uh, and they will get the same perks as other volunteers. So they can shop on Wednesday uh, for us, they can get two plants at 20% off and they can get 50% off afternoon on Sunday. So uh, if you have friends, because I, I do have a friend who's not a member and I invited her to sign up as a volunteer too. So okay. uh, maybe we can use that to help fill in our slots as well. And we will not be having a potluck type of thing because you can't share food right. through this COVID, right. but we will be bringing in um Little Subway sandwich. sandwiches or Jimmy John's or whoever ends up being the cheapest, we will be bringing in uh, a sandwich and some chips and water that we will supply to all of our volunteers. Um, we will have a tent for our volunteers. Um, everybody needs to bring their own chair, though. If they want to yeah. sit down, they're going to have to have their own chair. Okay. So there's an article in the last water log that 
uh, describes our protocols about everybody wearing a mask. There's a one-way flow of traffic. We'll supply gloves. And I have small, chair. medium, large, and extra large rubber gloves for everybody. We have sanitizing wipes. We have sanitizing spray. So, so there's there's a lot of precautions we're taking if people are concerned about about that part of it, and I think we'll be very safe. Somebody started to say Stephen. I don't know if it was Jim or Marty or that was me, Jim. Oh, okay, go ahead, Jim. This kind of overlaps a couple of things, but while I'm on it, our two picnics, the one in June and the one in September, were previously approved. I am talking to the state fair right now to make sure that if we have inclement weather that we can get one of the units in the Hort building like we used to many years ago. And that would also give us access to restrooms. So that's that subject. Uh, the other thing that I'm checking on is whether or not we might be able to use our pond as a site on our water garden tour. And um, my, I think it's going to go. I'm waiting for their final approval because they have to coordinate all events that are going on in the fairgrounds. They're limited to 10,000 people, and there is a horse show going on. So I think it's going to fly, but I'm waiting for them to approve that. Okay. Yeah, the, using the Minnesota State Fair um, Water Garden. As a uh, pond site, it's going to be one of our last resorts. Um, yeah. We are still contacting pond owners. So, yeah. We as do, long as we get the approval, then we've got the option. We do have five people who have already confirmed they will be on the pond tour. Um, and we just sent out another 15 invites to, we're going to maybe move a little farther south. Uh, to the south side of 694-94 between the 35W corridors uh, to see if uh, uh, we can get some more people to say yes. So the pond tour is still on. We do have some people have said yes. We are expanding our area to see if we can't get some more people. Uh, pond tour is on. Um, Sonny, do you wanna maybe just talk about the pond parties? Sure. Uh, we've had one change. Um, I received an email from Gary, and they are going to have to cancel their party on the 11th. Uh, it'll be written up in the water log. Uh, the reason, once again, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the COVID. He has, he's been participating in a study about how effective um, the, the vaccines are with people that are taking um, these drugs to so that they, because he does have a kidney, he's been a kidney transplant, and uh, they have found that the, um, to, to suppress the immune system, that the, um, that the vaccines are not effective. They have no antibodies afterwards, and including him. After the first va vaccine, they've, they have no antibodies. Almost all of the people that there are in the study so they don't, they haven't another, the study hasn't come out for after the second vaccine. So um, he uh, has canceled because they're being urged to stay very cautious. So uh, he has canceled uh, his party for the 11th and that will be in the water log. But the one in Wisconsin is still a go. Okay, good. So I'm um, hoping that's, that a lot of us will take road trips uh, and because it's a new pond, they're new members, so um, so that we can support them. And I'm still looking, obviously, for anybody else that would like to have a party. But we'll see. I think everybody's just a little bit cautious right now with exactly what they want to do. Yeah. Well, the, hey, it seems Steve. like COVID's back on the rise in Minnesota. Yes, Jim. Uh, just just a side note for everybody. I have a very good friend of mine who had uh, co uh, cancer and he had to have uh, all of his blood and bone marrow all redone. So he literally had no immunity whatsoever, none. And he had to get all of his childhood shots over again. Mm -hmm. So if you know anybody that has autoimmune situations, whether their doctors talk to him or not, it might be something they want to check on because he had to get all of his polio shots, chicken pox. He had to get all of them all over again. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're we're not done yet. No, um, but at least it's it's starting to head in the right direction. So, but yeah, I don't. Of everybody who's still here, who all got COVID? Well, uh, actually, no, just actually, actually got COVID and actually just, got sick with COVID. Just you, I think. Am I the only one? Well, that just so. burns my chaps. You're the only one I know of. <laughs> Jeez, a wheeze. Yeah. And on top of it, you guys will love this. My lovely bride. I love her to death. I, she got COVID at the same time I did. Yeah. I was sick for what, three and a half weeks. I got better for about 10 days and then I came down with pneumonia. My wife, you know, she had an upset stomach for three days. That yeah, was she, that was the extent of her COVID sickness. She yeah, was if they're all different. She was required to be your caregiver so she couldn't yeah. continue. No, she, she was my caregiver, all right. She says, Are you still alive? Yep. Okay, see you later. <laughs> 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 I'm not a good patient, folks. I'm not a good patient. She, oh, I love the woman to death. She's a saint putting up with me for 45 years. So anyways, um, and everybody, everybody's, how did your second COVID shot go? Fine. Fine. One shot wonder. Hey, Steve, I work <laughs> at a COVID clinic and I personally have seen and talked to probably 5,000 people. I can count on one hand how many had a moderate reaction and I they quit. ask and they ask everybody when they have their second shot. So it's really, okay. really been good. All right, folks, I quit. I'm done. I'm out. I got that. I got <laughs> I'm that. talking about reaction to the shots. I That's not, what I'm talking COVID. about. I got the second yeah. one uh, Wednesday. Fine. Nothing. Thursday got up. Wife says to me, how are you feeling? I said, I'm feeling great. She goes, okay. She goes out and get a cup of coffee. Somebody flipped the switch. My head started spinning. Oh. My stomach started spinning. And somebody hit me with a Mack truck. Yeah, Steve, actually both Mark and I, uh, the day after our second shot, we're feeling really out of sorts. You know, Thank you. I wasn't, you know, it's finally it somebody nauseous, but it was like we were so tired. And so yeah. we both had headaches. Yep. Uh, I, I, was, I was, yeah, I was, was tired. I was very tired and had chills. Oh. And Jim had nothing. So. Didn't bother him a bit. Yeah. You see me, Jim? No. I say women, yeah. women have, <laughs> are having things worse than men. Sorry, oh. Steve. Yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Just complain about it more. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Jan. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, literally, I came back in this bedroom. I laid back down, and my wife said, "Are you going to survive?" I said, "I think so." She shut the door and left me alone for two days. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. So I'm hoping that all, everything's over with. Well, for most of us in our age group, the younger ones between 25 and 40 tend to react more than the older people because we yeah. have a stronger right. immune system. Right. Yeah, so true. see, we are in a better group, except Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm probably, well, let's see. Well, maybe oh, I might not. Stuart, are you over yeah. 65? Oh, 67. Oh, ah. get I think I am the baby here then. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, but you're not 40. No, but I'm 64. So, anyways, I'm still the baby. You're, you're on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. All right. Well, okay. So, we talked about the state fair site. We've talked about the spring sale. We're good to go. I think. Uh, I think it will be a success. Um, we're going to sell out between me and Mark. We're not going to have any plants left. There will be a fire sale on Sunday. Did that other group come through and and say they would look at buying out what's left? I don't remember who it was. Yeah, it's not buying out; it's first choice. So. Uh, no, no, I meant I meant when everything is all done. Yes. Not, somebody. So I'm gonna... saying it's not buying out; it's it's first choice of what whatever is left at the end of the day on Sunday. Oh, they may buy a bunch but leave some. 
Correct. Gotcha. <laughs> And all of all my sellers are going to do such a fantastic job. There won't be anything left for them to buy. So, I sure hope so. <laughs> Is that the vaccine talking? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I could bang my head against the back of the wall, but I thought this was easier. But anyways, yeah. Anybody have any more questions? Anything they want to bring up? Anything? No. Just Good keep asking your friends to help be volunteers at our sale. There you go. Really, yeah. I mean, that, that can work very, very well. Might even turn them into members. Yeah. Awesome. I'll, uh, I'll go online and sign up right after we're done here. All right, Stuart. There well, you thank go. You. We're, we're holding you to that. Oh, I, I will. <laughs> well, we're going gonna, we're gonna to go online to check. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, as I, I'm, I'm gonna go check the ball game score. I think they're probably yeah. with I, I set, I already set up the email to go out at 7:45 tomorrow morning. Sweet. I could reschedule it, and I added in about the perks this time, so hopefully okay. that will help. But I looked at the last email; 51% opened it up. How much? Right. So hopefully half. Yeah, that's half of them. That's excellent. Yeah. All right. Well. I'm going to stop.